So hello there, Voron Zero doing the belts. And for the plastic parts, we'll need this one, which is uh, well, the main part here, which sits this way and tensions the belts. No, this way, yeah, exactly this way. Uh, to begin with, we need to install three threaded inserts, one here on the front and two here on the back. Next step are these two nuts, which I well previously mistakenly installed in the bed. Yes, these are two dedicated nuts to hold the belts. And if you take a look on this part, then the belts are located here. There is a ribs which should hold the belt. And these two nuts are placed like this, holding the belts, obviously. And they are secured with two and three eight millimeter screws which we will pre-attach here but of course which won't be tightened yet because the belts are not in place so this is how it should look like and when we'll fit the belts in they should be pressed by this not right here well maybe not this ugly but still each belt starts from here and ends here and it's on one side it goes through the idler like this and on another side it just returns back to the center. Uh, the second belt symmetrically go through the idler and here returns directly to the center. So this is kind of a letter P in one or in another direction or a flag, something like that. So how do I start with that? I will start by, uh, well, by um, putting one of the belts here. Uh, the belt should go with the two side on the motor pulley, so it should go here, therefore it goes through the idler, returns here and goes with the toothed part on the front. So to begin with I will loosen this up a bit well until it barely holds I'll push one end of the belt until it goes through, the, through this hole here so I have a nice starting point and this is well this is gonna get complex when I will be pushing the second belt through but whatever I'm not sure whether I should cut the belts now, usually, well, you cut them as late as possible. Then, this is the lower belt, so I will rotate it through the pulley. Painter tape, by the way, is a perfect way of securing things. Second, I'm going to cover the front idler. Here I'm gonna push the belt in, rotate it through, uh, around the motor pulley and get it out through the bearing stack like this. And uh, note that this nut is completely free and the motor is pushed all the way towards the extrusion so well it's not tight and will allow for some tightening later. By the way never pull your belts like this when you have your motor attached to your electronics because currently if I do it like so the motor acts as a high current generator and will basically fry your uh, and basically fry your electronics. At this point I'm checking that this belt is really inside the pulleys and uh, works and goes the way it should go. So, uh, the belt then should go around the second motor here, like this, and it should then return to the center directly and yeah straightly and directly so this is belt one i can triple check that it's well intended position and uh, then cut it off and uh, before that i should check that well it's really on the old pulleys i need it to be on and uh, it doesn't it moves basically freely I will leave some slack in the belts because I will still tighten them and I will still cut the extra. But for this moment, I will gonna well 
I'll leave some links to manipulate with. So this was the bottom belt or B belt and uh, it goes like this and the A belt, the top belt should go through this idler around this and return here. So I'll start by feeding it into the center part. When the belt is over the A pulley, uh, A motor pulley, I will just rotate it back to the center, like over the B block and over the right uh, X frame mount. And there is, well, a lot of belts still left. Maybe not enough to do the full routing again, but well, enough to use it for some other project. So what I'm gonna do now, first of all, I'm gonna see that the belt is really inside the pulleys. Uh, it's not like over, it's not stuck somewhere. And by while doing this, I will tighten the belts a little bit more. So I'm making sure that the belts are kind of tight now and they are inside the ridges of the pulleys. They are not stuck, they are not somewhere over the pulleys, they are not misaligned and so on and so forth. And while doing this, I'm tightening them a tiny bit. Basically, I'm tightening them as much as I can do it with my bare hands without using pliers or similar tool. And with this done, I can tighten the second nut here. Next thing, I need to attach this to this center part, center piece to the uh, linear block. This is done by four M2 six millimeter screws. Am I right? Six millimeter? Yes, this is done by four M2 six millimeter screws. Here we are. Let's see if it still moves. Seems so. Let's try tightening the belts a bit. As you see, they're pretty loose. Not the easiest way because, yeah, turning the screws is a bit awkward, but I see it working. The belts are tight. Uh, I can even tighten them equally by sound alone. So, thank you, and see you in the next video installing the bed.